The Coca-Cola Company is an American company founded in 1892, initially to make and sell syrup and concentrate for Coca-Cola. The renowned company now also manufactures and sells other soft drinks and citrus beverages. With over 2,800 products in more than 200 countries, Coca-Cola is the world's largest beverage producer and distributor. They are also one of the largest companies in the United States and they are headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia. Let us take a look at Coca-Cola's company story to see how they got so successful. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below to get a notification on our next video. The Coca-Cola drink was made in 1886 by an Atlanta pharmacist, John S. Pemberton, at his Pemberton Chemical Company. Frank Robinson, who was his bookkeeper, chose the name of the drink and wrote it in the fluent handwriting that became Coca-Cola's trademark. Pemberton initially promoted his drink as a tonic for the most common sicknesses. This claim was based on the cocaine from the coca leaf and caffeine-rich extracts from cola nuts. This cocaine was eventually removed from the Coca-Cola formula around 1903. Pemberton sold its syrup to local soda fountains and, with the advertising, the drink became a remarkable success. By 1891, another pharmacist from Atlanta, Asa Griggs Candler, had acquired full ownership of the company for a total of $2,300 and an exchange of some property rights. The next year, he incorporated the Coca-Cola Company. The Coca-Cola trademark was registered with the U.S. Patent Office in 1893. With Candler at the helm of affairs, sales saw an increase from approximately 9,000 gallons of syrup in 1890 to 370,877 gallons in 1900. Also, in that decade, syrup manufacturing facilities were opened in Dallas, Los Angeles, and Philadelphia, and the product was eventually sold throughout the U.S. states, as well as in Canada. In 1899, the Coca-Cola company reached an agreement with an independent bottling company that could buy the syrup and manufacture, bottle, and distribute the Coca-Cola drink. With a capitalization of $100,000 in 1892 from its inception, the Coca-Cola company was sold for $25 million in 1919 to a group of investors led by Ernest Woodruff, a businessman from Atlanta. His son, Robert Winship Woodruff, led the company for more than three decades as president and director. In the years after World War II, Coca-Cola packaging was diversified and new products were developed or acquired. The Coke brand, first used in advertising in 1941, was registered in 1945. In 1946, the company acquired the rights to Fanta, a soft drink formerly produced in Germany. The contoured bottle of Coca-Cola was first revealed in 1916, and it was registered in 1960. The company also unveiled the lemon-lime drink, Sprite in 1961, as well as its first sugar-free Diet Coke tab in 1963. With the acquisition of Minute Maid Corporation in 1960, the company penetrated the citrus juice market. In 1966, the Fresca brand was added to the family. By 1978, Coca-Cola was the only company authorized to sell packaged cold beverages in the People's Republic of China. In 1982, the company launched its low-calorie sugar-free Diet Cola soft drink, initially called Diet Coca-Cola. To counter the decline in market share, the company assumed a new Coca-Cola flavor in April 1985, with a formula gotten through taste testing. However, the new Coke was not appreciated by the consumers. Due to public uproar, Coca-Cola brought back its original taste in July and was later promoted as the Coca-Cola Classic. From 1982 to 1989, the company held a majority stake in Columbia Pictures Industries Incorporated, a motion picture and entertainment company. Coca-Cola started selling products in East Germany in 1990 and in India in 1993. In 1992, the company introduced its first bottle, partly made from recycled plastic. This was a major innovation in the industry at the time. Coca-Cola went on to make many new beverages in the 1990s, including Co, the children's fruit drink marketed in Asia, the Powerade sports drink, and Dasani mineral water. Coca-Cola also bought Barks Root Beer in the US, 
Inca Cola in Peru, Maza, Thumbs Up, and Limca in India, and Cadbury Schweppes beverages, which were consumed in more than 120 countries around the world. In the early 2000s, Coca-Cola was charged with illegal soil and water contamination and grave human rights violations. In 2001, United Steelworkers of America and the International Labor Rights Fund ILRF, filed a lawsuit against Coca-Cola and Bibidisi Alimentos and Pan American Beverages Incorporated, also known as PA Namco LLC, Coca-Cola's largest beverage bottler in Latin America, alleging the defendants openly involved supposed death squads to threaten, torture, abduct, and even murder union leaders in Latin America. The controversy got the attention of the world and prompted many American universities to ban the sale of Coca-Cola products at their locations. Eventually, the lawsuit was dismissed. In 2005, the company launched Coca-Cola Zero, a calorie-free soft drink with the taste of regular Coca-Cola. In 2007, the company bought Energy Brands Incorporated together with its various improved waters. Later that year, Coca-Cola announced its intention to join the Business Leaders Initiative on Human Rights Blier. This is a group of companies that work together to develop and implement corporate responses to human rights issues affecting the business world. In April 2007, the name Coca-Cola Classic was renamed the initial Coca-Cola in Canada. The Classic was taken off because, since new Coke was no longer produced, there was no longer any need to distinguish between the two. The formula, however, remained the same. In January 2009, Coca-Cola stopped printing the word classic on the labels of 470 milliliters bottles that were sold in parts of the southeastern United States. The change was said to be a grander strategy to revive the image of the product. The word classic was eventually taken off from all Coca-Cola products in 2011. In November 2009, Costco stopped restocking its shelves with Coca-Cola and Diet Coke for two months because of a disagreement over wholesale prices for Coca-Cola products. In a separate pouring agreement in 2013, Coca-Cola products were removed from Costco's food courts and replaced with Pepsi. Some Costco locations, like the ones in Tucson, Arizona, also sell Coca-Cola imported from Mexico with cane sugar instead of corn syrup from different distributors. Coca-Cola released the 7.5-ounce mini can in 2009. On September 22, 2011, the company announced price cuts and urged retailers to sell 8-packs for $2.99. On the same day, Coca-Cola announced the 12.5-ounce bottle, selling for 89 cents. A 16-ounce bottle sold successfully for 99 cents, but the price soared to $1.19. In 2012, Coca-Cola resumed business in Myanmar after a 60-year absence. This was due to investment sanctions imposed on the country by the United States. The Coca-Cola bottling facility is said to be located in Yangon and is part of the company's five-year plan and a $200 million investment in Myanmar. In 2013, it was announced that Coca-Cola Life would be launched in Argentina and other parts of the world containing stevia and sugar. In the UK, however, the drink was stopped in June 2017. On January 25, 2021, the company declared that it would release Coca-Cola with coffee and Coca-Cola with coffee zero sugar in the entire United States. The product is said to be available in three flavors, dark blend, vanilla, and caramel while the zero sugar, zero calorie variety will be available in dark blend and vanilla. In February 2021, in a fight against plastic waste, Coca-Cola announced it would sell its bottled sodas made from 100% recycled plastic in the US. There are also plans to recycle one bottle, or can for every bottle sold by 2030. Coca-Cola initially sold 2,000 paper bottles to see if they would be sustainable because of the safety risk and chances of a change in the taste of the drink. What do you think about Coca-Cola's company story? Where do you see them in the next 10 years? Thanks for watching this video. Please share your opinions in the comments section below and remember to click the subscribe button to be the first person to watch new videos on this channel.